Okay, this is just a brief little example of how we've built up a, serve, a pan tilt servo controller using Altium Designer and the NV3000. So what we've got here is uh, a little um, two servo motors, one mounted for panning and the other one mounted for tilting. So I don't know if you can actually see in up underneath we've just mounted, um, we've used this disc kind of thing on the bottom one and then put some double-sided tape on that and put the top one on top of that. So if I actually show you the pan in operation, all right, there we go, we're going backwards and forwards, and then while that's pointing there, and then the tilt is that one. All right, and then I've hooked up this other cool little control panel as well, so that you can actually, by left-clicking and dragging the mouse on that area, you can control both pan and tilt at the same time. Now, the actual components that I've used in this, I've used one of these um, little E-Flight uh, netties. I think you can see the uh, EFLRDS75H. So that comes with the um, the little micro servo and a bit, uh, a couple of bits of plastic and stuff like that that are in there. You can't actually see at the moment, but there is a little disc in there that you that uh, the same as that disc that I've got put on there. And then in terms of wiring it into the um, nano board, so we've got these uh, orange, black and red wires which come out and I've gone through just this little uh, connector adapter here and I've used some of the uh, flying leads that come with the um, Altium um, JTAG programmer and that then goes all the way up and so I've got red going into user header 1, the white which is actually the control signal going into um, user header 2, and then the black which is the um, the ground going into user header 20 or pin 20. So that gives you red is power, ground is the... Uh, uh, bl gray <laughs> black is ground and white is the signal. And then I've done the same um, for the uh, the other one here which is for the the tilt unit so I'm now going into um, where are we green white and gray and they all go into uh, user header B so once you've got that all up and running so the project that that I'm actually using in our team designer is um, uh, this project let's just see if we can move that down here I uh, might just close that for the time being. Uh, this project in here, which... Um, hang on, I have to, have to put the camera down for a moment because I can't cope with actually doing all this. Maybe I should... Uh, do we care about the focus? Alright. Now if I do that, you can see it all there. Cool. And... So here in Altium Designer, we've got this servo control thing, which is actually doing the control of the um, the signal and creating the uh, appropriate PWM signal for the servo motors. So as you can see, those signals go out, and I've indicated red or white to go into these servo motors. So some servo motors have a white signal line, others have an orange one, or the ones that I'm using have an orange one. And then when it's all up and running, um, yeah, there you go. It's got the... Can you see it down the bottom there? Let's just go in there a little bit. Whee! Okay, so that's how you create a pan tilt controller with Outim Designer and an NB3000. Enjoy!